Does he know? Yeah. yeah I told him. <laughs> you going on an Kyle's, adventure? Uh, Kyle's going to take you on a field trip. <laughs> I hadn't been on an adventure with my parents' dog Hudson in a good while, but we were heading to a place he had been multiple times, and I was sure he would recognize it as soon as we got out of the truck from the long drive. We got off the highway and headed into the rural Maine woods, where we'd trek in over a mile on foot to a tiny rustic off-grid cabin. We loaded our supplies in a sled and thought we'd be cross-country skiing the whole way in. But the snow was slippery and hard, the sled was heavy, and the trail was mostly uphill. We had to resort to pulling and pushing the sled in tandem. And even then, it was a sweat-dripping, arduous task in the cold night. But it made the arrival that much sweeter. I first heard of this place when my sister visited and sent me a picture a number of years back. And since then, I've been multiple times, mostly in the winter and also in the fall. And something about it keeps drawing me back. We'll figure all this out in a sec. I'm just getting it inside for now. One of these could be a trash bag. There's a clear roof so you can see the stars, but there's not much insulation. And since it sits on a ridge, it catches the wind, and you have to work to keep it warm. It's the long trek in, combined with the duty of keeping it warm, keeping your water from freezing, and keeping yourself fed, that wake up your ancient instincts. That's good. We were there a few days, and our main goal was to be unplugged and move our bodies outside. some spotless days while we were there. We 
we made sure to cherish them in all the golden light that came with them. They rebuilt the little loft in the cabin. And while now you have less risk of rolling off the edge, the new design doesn't allow much heat to escape up into there. And we were shivering a lot of the night, but it made the morning fire feel extra good. It's getting nice and warm in here. Nice and toasty, come on. <laughs> Hudson is actually my parents' dog. I used to hang out with him a ton when I lived at home after college. I used to do a lot more adventures with Hudson back in the day. We've actually come to this cabin multiple times. I used to spend a lot more time at my childhood home, but now that I have my own place and I have a partner, life is a little bit more busy. I don't get to see Hudson as much, but we've done a lot of trips together and we do have an unbreakable bond. And every time we see each other, it's like no time has passed. I know it sounds funny to say that about a dog, but if you know, you know. Oh, I can smell breakfast being cooked out there. Well, it's time for a nice big breakfast, and not just for Allie and I, Hudson too. Which brings us to this video sponsor, which is Sundays for Dogs. Sundays is fresh dog food made from a short list of human grade ingredients. It was co-founded by Dr. Tori Waxman, a practicing veterinarian. Sundays contains 90% meat, 10% vegetables, and 0% synthetic nutrients. Dog parents report noticeable health improvements in their pups when they eat Sundays. Everything from shinier fur, fresher breath, better poops, and more energy. The thing that really separates Sundays is unlike other fresh dog food, Sundays doesn't require refrigeration. Usually dog food is either like really healthy, human grade, or it's convenient. Sundays is both. Every order of Sundays ships right to your door so you'll never have to worry about running out of dog food. The other thing about Sundays, made in the USA. This is the way to do it. If you care about your pet, you have to give them high quality food. So you can get 50% off your first order of Sundays. Just go to sundays.com slash trout or use the code trout at checkout. The link is in the video description below. So thank you to Sundays for sponsoring this video, for for supporting this channel and for giving Hudson such high quality food. And now back to the story. It's like you almost think they're beets. Allie made a delicious scramble, and I sipped some of my air-roasted coffee in the morning sun before we headed off for our first walk of the day. Oh. <laughs> Who's out there?
I'll be just a minute. Wait a <laughs> and I wrote some good pages in a book I'm working on and read some good short stories too. What is, what's he doing? Trying to eat the onion. Jeez. <laughs> I thought about how someday I'd love to come here with no cameras and just read, write, and exercise for days on end. <sighs> what's that? That right? Now they're gone. I mean, they can't be far. Hey, boy. Hey. Jeez. You good boy. You good little guy. And after some mid-morning cabin time, we set out on the trails for more exploration. Exactly five minutes ago and I got struck by that in this bag. <laughs> Here and now. This is the white pine, right? Yeah. Usually I make tea out of this, but today we're doing balsam luck. <laughs> He's like, thank God, out of that hot cabin. He's so happy. <laughs> Just dragging in the snow to cool down. <laughs> <laughs> It was nice being there midweek, because we kind of had the place to ourselves. And Hudson was in heaven with all the new smells. And for lunch, we broke into a homemade sourdough loaf that I had brought. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> and even though the snow was still hard, we gave the skis a shot and glided through the golden light. It was satisfying to watch the sunset after a long full day of activity and know a good homemade dinner wasn't far off. notch pot of chili that we scooped up with the bread and we all ate good that night and I went to bed grateful for Hudson and Allie and this experience and for the fact that the loft finally warmed after a full day with the stove cranking <laughs> 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 